Welcome back from Graphic Extras. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the shape blur with the color channels. And I'm going to go to Photoshop. Now, you could use it in CS6. I'm using CC, but uh, so just going to go over to there. Got channels here. That's windows and channels. And I'm actually going to just quickly apply a background. Obviously, it's a black background I'm going to use and some white shapes. Just very few of them, just going to quickly apply a selection across the background. And of course you could apply anything, you could actually have uh, an image here or uh, maybe uh, text, that's another way to do it, With may or maybe crisscross of lines, a grid, etc. That's another good interesting design. Well anyway, I'm going to go to the red channel now, just going to select that, so that's just the red channel now. I'm going to filter, blur and shape blur. And the shapes I'm using are from Graphic Extras. They're uh, part of a 13,000 uh, custom shapes uh, selection. And I'm just going to select uh, one of the shapes there. Just select that one. Uh, there's a little, uh, I'm just going to reduce the radius down a bit. So it's not so intense. And also a bit quicker. Click OK. Right, already you can see the lines. Now, of course, you'd see the lines of this uh, if you were using the RGB. But uh, now, you've just got it on the red channel. So if you go back to the green, obviously, you've still got it the same. And now I'm going to do the same sort of thing with this. Blur, shape blur. I'm not going to apply the same shape, though. I'm going to select a different shape. And it's very much trial, by error, trial and error, because obviously you can see the uh, over here what the end result, but you can't actually see it particularly easily, but just going to click that. There's another interesting sort of blur effect using the shape blur. Now I'm going to go to the blue, filter, blur, shape blur, and I'm going to go select a different one. Just going to go down a bit, and I'm going to select that one. Click OK. Right, now you've done that. Just go back to RGB, and there you are. You've actually got an interesting uh, color effect of sort of like a shimmery sort of, I don't know, maybe if you're slightly drunk or whatever, got that sort of four o'clock in the morning, it's all the lights are blurry, and you've got red and greens and blues. I don't know. But uh, that's the thing. Of course, you can actually extend it further. You can actually now go to image adjustments. Of course, you could do vibrancy, but I like HDR toning. It's always a favourite of mine, just to play around with different intense colour. And there you are. So I'm just going to go with that. Of course, you could go through a whole range. You could tweak all these things like exposure, etc. Click OK. Now, again, you don't even have to actually finish there. You can actually go from filter and say oil paint. And quick way of some very colourful dabs of reds, greens and blues using the shape blur and channels. Hope you found this tutorial of interest and that you'll subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel. There'll be more uh, tutorials in the next couple of days. Thank you much.